Hello, hello, and welcome back to Games Revisited. I am your host, Anon Jr., and if you've been following along on live stream, you've heard me say that a few times again, because I'm trying out a new format. I'm trying to do the same amount of live stream, and I'm going to chop it up into shorter episodes to get posted to YouTube, so it's a little less uh, holy mother of content, and <laughs> that's a lot in one shot kind of deal. And uh, instead, it, it gets broken up throughout the week. So if you got time to join me live, great. Stick along as long as you can. It will all get posted up to YouTube later, where you'll be able to enjoy the earlier stuff that you might have missed before I got started, and, or the later stuff after, after you had to drop off. And if you're on YouTube, you get to see these. Uh, hopefully, if I can maintain the format, it, it'll be a, a new 20-minute episode each day. Uh, barring the live stream day. So I'm going to try to get these down to five to six episodes a week with the live stream once a week. So if you are not already watching live and you want to join along, links are down below to my Twitch and Mixer channel. I simulcast to both of them. So choose whichever one is your favorite and join along. And uh, let's move on. So in the last episode, I did The Legend of Zelda and Zelda 2, just a really quick overview, a look at the gameplay, a look at the game, and uh, a chance to kind of take a look at those. The, those were some of the best-known adventure games of the Nintendo Entertainment System, the NES. There were a few other... There were a few other adventure games. There was a lot of other adventure games. I won't even say a few. There were a lot other... Since I since I am restricting this to the games that I owned, so that way I don't run into legal issues with the ROMs and all that, I'm going through some of the adventure games of my own youth. Uh, also, I've been calling it games of my youth for a reason. <laughs> so these are the games of my youth. These are things that I remember playing at growing up. And I wanted to hit a couple other adventure games in this next segment. And... I'm going to start with one of the two that was in the runner-up for Season 2 of Games Revisited. So, as we talk about this, if this sounds like something you want to do, then we might be able to push this into Season 3, or maybe we'll pick one of the Zeldas, or who knows what we'll do for Season 3. We'll figure that out when we get there. Uh, we got a little ways before we get there anyway. But Crystallis was one of the adventure games that I have fond, fond memories of playing. And so we're going to run through that real quick. Or not the, not the game real quick. There is no running through the game real quick. Um, oh, how quaint. 1997 was going to be the end of the world. Well, that was so far in the future. Story, story, story. Yada, yada. Gives you a basic run of the game. This came out in 1990. So compared to the earlier games on the Nintendo console, you're going to see some better graphics. Yeah, you know, the basic idea is, is that you are put into a cryostasis and you get awakened. Oh, input your code name. I'm hitting the wrong button, aren't I? Yeah. Get ready for a lot of that, folks. A, B, C, D. <laughs> oh, man. Yes, this was how you had to enter your name into games. There was no keyboard to type it in, no voice to text. Yeah, two buttons. Guess right. <laughs> but this, this was a really fun adventure game. You were in stasis. After the end of the world, you're finally awakened. Hey, there's a guy coming out of the cave. I, I do believe I still occasionally hear this music in my, uh... <laughs> in in my sleep, such as it is. Here's always cold. That's right, all those little phrases there were actual hints 
Oh, it's you. I'm sorry I ran from you. Zebu says he's having a hard time with the windmill guard. He's always sleeping. Hints, which you will not find in your quest log because there is no quest log. Guess what? Your quest log is a three-ring notebook. You have finally awoken. The money is from the wise man Zebu. It's yours. I got some money. I got some money. All right. Yep, 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 yep. Oh yeah, that's right. Definitely need to get uh, all sorts of fun stuff. And the village elder. You awoke from inside the cave, didn't you? We were told you would arrive. You're our last hope to defeat evil. Yeah, there's a lot of that going on in games then too. Still are now. Receive this sword to protect you on your quest. This and others like it will guide you. You now have the Sword of Wind. Basically, that was your quest, is you were to pick up the four elemental swords, power them up, pick up all the really cool gear, <laughs> and uh, and make your way to the final boss. And there was all sorts of little things like this little guy, you would have to remember that he was here because there was something special that you would run across that would do something with him much, much later. Like, this was one of those... Oh, uh, kind of moments that would happen, you know, 20, 30 hours into the game. All right, um, I know I can't drop it. There we go. Swords are only good when you equip them. <laughs> and with the various swords, you could, uh, charge them by holding them into the ground. Uh, yeah, this definitely has a little bit of the tree hugger hippie vibe to it. It's all about the elements and that sort of thing. Um, beating people up for XP and uh, money, as common now, as common then as it is now. These are classic tropes for a reason, folks. Oh yeah, a lot of time spent grinding these guys too. Alright, let's try to hurry up and get through an extra area. See if I can do that without uh, going through the trouble of leveling up. That might prove disastrous. Because again, we're talking about an adventure game that was designed to spend a whole lot more time than we're going to spend. Ominous music. Ominous music. Oh, as ominous as it could get on an 8-bit processor. Oh yeah, that's right, I gotta find the key. All that for nothing. And a lot of walking. Of course, those of you playing Classic WoW, you will, um... <laughs> you're, you're used to walking again, aren't you? <laughs> Start playing smarter. Keep these guys at a greater distance. Oh, and take their money. Because that too is a wonderful trope. Oh, I gotta see if I can find that article of all the uh, wonderful video game tropes of the 80s and 90s. I am called Zebu Don Jr. You are the one we have been waiting for. Try to make the windmill work. If you can do this, I will teach you some magic. Oh man, okay. And I just ate up a bunch of my time. So this is where I'm going to go ahead and actually close this one out. Because I wanted to hit one, maybe two more games. And... Uh, of course, it's not on the list. All right, so back to the uh, load content. Content. Users. Me. Dropbox. And we're going to pull up Faxanadu. This is another one of those games that... Uh, <laughs> 88. Dungeons and Dragons. Falcom Software. 
Because Nintendo was really big about licensing other people's content for their game system and trying to lock them into exclusive contracts. Pax Xanadu comes from Xanadu and the Tree of Life and that kind of thing. Uh, the basic idea was that the uh, the waters of the Tree of Life were poisoned and causing the dwarves to go mad and attack. So you had to help the elves cleanse the fountains. I've been on a long journey. I came back to my hometown to find it is almost deserted. The gate is closed. People are gone. And the walls are crumbling. I wonder what happened. you to see the king right away. Although you've just arrived. At least they apologize for it, right? Um, oh yeah. Alright. So again, they tried to do their best to manage the side-scrolling issues. <laughs> Listen to people. You only get frustrated if you just walk around. <laughs> the dwarfs are robbing the elves money and jewelry. Oh, that's nothing new. Oh, wait. <laughs> this is the elf town of Eolus. It's located at the bottom of the world tree. And the elves live here. Go to see the guru before you see the king. Oh, hello guru. You just happen to be right there. Now again, this is earlier than Crystallis, so you notice the difference in gameplay mechanics and graphics. Uh, some of that also comes from the game development company, but um, yeah. Take this ring. It will identify you. Alright, an armor shield, magic item player. There we go. Okay. So, you got your levels, you got your XP, your weapon, your armor, your shield, your magic, your items. And round and round you went. I think somebody was going to give me a dagger, or maybe I had to actually spend money on that. No, that's the guy that sells me keys. I have no gold, so I don't know what I'm going to buy from him. Yeah. I keep forgetting that the buttons are mapped backwards. Yeah, the doors are already in town. Looks like the end is near. Don't die on your way to see the king. Especially since you don't have a dagger. give magic for 200 golds? <laughs> you got nothing for free. Do you want a martial art lesson for 200 gold? <laughs> this is not enough. Oh, sorry. Golds. You has golds? <laughs> the last well is almost dry. That might be important. has befallen us. The elf fountain water, our life source, has stopped. The wells are drying up. Many men went out and nobody came back. You are our last hope. I shall give you 1,500 golds. Prepare for your journey with this money. It will be a dangerous journey. Take care of yourself. All right, there you go. You're sent off on the quest. You're given 1,500 gold and the best of luck to you. <laughs> Good luck. Oh, what? You were looking for a party? Guess what? There's no party. Oh, yeah. And you get to dodge the bad guys before you can arm yourself again. Because, you know, games are kind of brutal back then. Why, hello, good sir. 
What would I like? I would like to buy. What would you like? I would like a hand dagger, please. Thank you for shopping. Oh, but... But I, w I wasn't... I wasn't done? Fine. Uh, I needed a key from this guy anyway. I sell keys. What would you like? Oh yeah, that's right. This was back when you could still have people smoking a cigarette in your video game before, you know. Yeah. I would like to buy the only key you have. Key J. There might be 25 others just like him. <laughs> Alright. I spent a lot of time playing Vaxanadu. Yes, I did beat this game eventually. It took a while. And I had the notebook and all the other good fun stuff. Uh, so that is where I am going to close this. And I definitely want to leave some time for some of the other games. So I'm going to call this segment done. I'm going to head on over to the credit screen. And this is where I'm going to let you know if you're watching this on YouTube, Thank you for watching along. Subscribe if you haven't already to get notified when new content is added. My goal for Games Revisited is to try to stagger out the release throughout the week. So instead of one giant two-hour stream, uh, it's going to be five or six 20-minute streams, 20, 25-minute streams that get spaced out throughout the week. So it's not all of it at once in one unmanageable chunk of video. And uh, if you want to see the whole thing in one go, join me live Thursdays at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern, or at least that's the recording time as of, uh, as of this episode. Down below in the description, you'll find the links to Twitch and Mixer. The uh, streaming schedule will be kept current on both of those channels. I simulcast, so choose whichever service you prefer and follow along so you get notified when I go live. I do this, and on Tuesdays, I do Coffee Craft. That is a Minecraft server. So if you're into Minecraft and that is your thing, then uh, definitely join along then. Now, if you are watching live with me, hang tight. I got one more segment to go. If you're watching on YouTube, have fun. And uh, tomorrow will be a new episode. So live people, hang on. Be right back.